So this is our 3D structure. Our 3D structure is built into a wall. Uh, wrong direction looks weird. Okay, it is built into a wall. Okay. So now we have an axis over here. We call this axis our X. This will be our Y. And this direction will be our Z. Okay, so I'm going to sketch in green now that this is our X. Okay, and then vertically we have our Y. And then we have another axis. This will be our. Okay, now we have a moment vector acting in this direction now. Uh, I, I, I should not align it because it looks deceiving. Wait, really? So this is our moment now. Okay, this is our moment. Now our moment has two components. Okay. Our moment has two components. So one of the components, this is our moment in Y. Okay. And then this direction, this is our moment in what? Z. If you use the grip, the, the rules like what I taught, like what I taught you, the gripping rule, right? Right. So so when I want you to do with me on the board. Okay, I want you to do this with me. Take your right hand, not your left. Okay, I wipe my butt with my leg, but everything I do is on my right. We're clear. I want you to grab this way. Can you see how we are grabbing? Yes or no? Because the way we grab, the moment vector mz will look in this direction. Are we clear? Right, because of how we want grab. Don't do this. Right? Grab this way. And MY again in the Y is grab this way. And see from behind how your four fingers are what? Are curling. This is your what? Moment about Y direction. Are we clear? Okay. How your no, don't, don't do this. You go round and round, you get lost. Are you clear? Open finger, open finger. Don't, don't. Okay. Get lost. Okay. Open finger, are you clear? Okay? So, don't do anything weird. Just fix your elbow, okay? And you grab that elbow. Don't do anything else, okay? Okay, now. From here, right? From here, okay, you know what? I will teach you guys a simple way to remember this. Doing your test, okay? I will recommend you draw this. Doing your test, just draw this, okay? Okay, doing your test, just draw this on a piece of paper. Okay, this is up, okay? And this is your arrow over here. This is in compression. This is, is what? In tensile, okay? So when you draw this, on a piece of paper, you just do this, okay? Is this the best way? Yeah, I think this is the best. You just do this, follow me, okay? I, I, I'm not making fun of you, but watch me. So once you do this, okay, all you need to do now, 
is rotate. Are we clear? So when you do this, right? You will you will not get confused with your moment vector if your if your thumb is very stiff. This is the best way to do it. You will not make any mistake. Okay, so this we again rotate about 90 degrees okay and then this you will rotate again rotate rotate left hey come on eugene seriously rotate left left hey no rotate right come on sorry don't mean to mess you guys around are we clear if you are confused, just draw on a piece of paper in your thumb pad. Right. Coming back to our right. So now this is classified under Unsymmetrical bending. So unsymmetrical bending. The unsymmetrical bending. Centric. Bending. Occurs. When. Bending moment. is applied in both what axis okay so in 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 both axis means we have moment about y and we have moment about z and the formula looks like this stress x is equal to plus minus my over i y y multiplied by z plus minus mz over izz multiplied by y. You've seen this formula before. There you go. You guys knew unsymmetrical centric bending before. You just don't know the name. Seen this before, yes or no? Now, why do we classify this as unsymmetrical? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so now you answer me because of the stresses at every point is going to be what? It's going to be different. Yes or no? Not because uh, geometry. No. Okay, so now let me show you. Okay, let, let, let me show you now. Okay, so we, we, we look at the cross-section view. So now we are going to look at this is Y. And this is Z. OK, so I'm going to draw two cross section view. OK, so one, we are going to focus on moment in Z. Right, so this is our moment in Z, and we apply the hand gripping rule. Moment in Z, this is compression, and this is what? Tensile. Okay, and then I'm going to specify the distance from here to here. This is B, and the distance from here to here is our a same thing the distance from here to here is a and then the distance from here to here is our b then we have moment about y i'm going to specify the distance wait right. uh, not distance seriously you did right so this is our moment in y and then this is our what compression and over here is our what? Tensile. So we are going to call four points again. Alpha, beta, I, and J. Alpha, beta, 
point I and point J. Okay. So the first thing we are going to do, the formula we're going to apply is we are going to calculate stresses in the X direction. This will be equal to uh, M. Uh, we do MY over IYY multiplied by Z first, and we do MZ over IZZ multiplied by Y, plus or minus, plus or minus is entire dependent, okay? Right, so the thing we have to sort out is our what? IYY. Okay? So IYY is equal to AB cube. Over 12. IZZ. IZZ is equal to BA cube over 12. Agree or disagree? You guys should be really hot at this now. We started with Buckley. We learned all this. Yes or no? Right? Right. So now, the next thing we have to specify is the Z distance. Okay? So Z distance is equal to what? So if we look at the Z distance, Z distance is A over 2. And then the y distance, y distance is equal to b over 2. Why over 2? Because the structure is asymmetry about the x and y axis. Are we clear? So from here, we look at stress x at point alpha. Right? So this was, so let's write the, 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 the com, let's write the value. So you got my multiply by a over 2 divide by uh i y y which is a b cube over 12 and then on the other side you have m z multiply by b over 2 and then you divide by what i z z which is b a cube over 12 right if you look at point alpha, I want you to focus at point alpha first, right? MY will give you tensile compression. Tension, so it's going to be positive. MZ with the figure on top will give you compression of tension. You put your what? Minus sign. Can you see that? So much more straightforward than using the, the, the matrix and the vector technique, isn't it? Right, you look at how the structure will what will deform, and you look at the deformation pattern, okay, or the moment vector. So now we look at stress x at b, okay. So again, all these are the same at point b. All these are the same, okay. So this is also equal to a over two. This is also equal to a b cube over twelve, and this is also equal to m y b over two over b a cube over 12. Now at point b, let's focus about moment about y. At, at, sorry, at point beta, okay, we are looking at beta now. Moment of y will generate positive or negative? Compression, yes or no? So this will be what? Negative. m y and, and then m z will induce what? If you look moment about m z, at beta is also going to be what? Pressure. Can you see that now? Yes. Yep. What's your question? Then if you look at MX, uh, stress X at point I, this will, again, at point I, all of them are the same. So let, let me copy all these, okay? All these are the same. Okay, no point me writing again and again and again and again, okay? We know all these will be the same, right? So at point I, MY will induce what? Tensile, right? MZ will also induce what? Tensile. And you see that, right? So lastly, stress X at point J 
Again, I'm going to copy all this because the, the equations are all the same. It's only the what? The plus and the what? And the minus. Okay, so from here, you can see now at point J, this is going to be what? This is going to be negative. And then at point J, this is going to be what? Positive. So what you can conclude from here is in unsymmetrical bending, centric bending, right? Stress X about alpha will not be equal to stress A. Uh, will not be equal. So stress X at point alpha will not be equal to stress X at point beta, will not equal to stress X at point I, and will not be equal to stress X at point where? J. Are we clear? Okay, so this is what we meant by what? Unsymmetrical bending. And you have done this before. Yes. Some test one or two. Okay. If what? Use the number in the table. Okay. Okay. I'll see you all at 1230.